elephants. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, bird, whatever you may be. No, it's not even a bird. It's the part of the power line, I think. Hi, Ellie. That was nice. It's like we planned this, you know. Pulled an elephant out my sleeve. Fantastic. Who have we got? Two young bulls, by the looks of it. Where are you going? The dam's that way. My oh, grumpy. He is slightly flared. He had his tail slightly stiffened away from his body. So we might have some troublemakers here, but not to be unexpected with young elephant bulls. Most of the time they're calm and relaxed, but sometimes they get a little bit out of hand and then they need a stern talking to. And I always seem to give young elephant bulls stern talking tos on a regular basis and discipline them. Okay, let's follow them. They are going on a two track, but it's quite a prominent two track. So we'll go and we'll see how long we follow them for but if they decide to do disappear into the bushes well we'll cross that bridge when we get there where are you boys going why are you so nervous it's okay fellas even the mongoose saw some dwarf mongoose they ran for the hills literally he's not happy he's he's a little bit nervous this fella so we won't actually bother him I was saying this the other day it's important that even though young elephant bulls give us a lot of grief most of the time we need to pay them a bit of respect too we need to respect all the animals out here and if you're not happy if they don't look like they're comfortable there's no point in pressurizing them you don't want them to have bad sort of vibes with the car that's not the intention at all so maybe we're not going to follow these boys because of the way that they reacted when I approached and I was going very slowly I couldn't have gone any slower if I had I would have stalled and I wonder if it's not the... Remember we ha we've had a couple of sightings with these two, with two young bulls. What if that one just chased? Was it a... Let me just go forward just a little bit. This other bull sort of flapped his head towards the tree. I don't know if there was a big, rather large bird that was sitting in it. I did see a branch sort of bounce and move off. Seb, I'm going to try and guide you. You see these trees here? In the fork of that one, there's a little bird. I don't know if it's a little raptor of some sort. I think that's what um, that's what he was going after. Uh, actually, I'm just trying to see if we're on the right branch. No, actually, go down and to the left, to the next one, a little bit go across. There we go. So go to there. Perfect. Oh, it's a squirrel. Ah, so I think it was a squirrel that it actually chased. That squirrel must have been out sunning itself. And that elephant... It, oh, no, it wasn't the squirrel. It was an antelope. But the squirrel, I think, got a fright. It must have been on the ground, too. And then jumped up the tree because the nyala wouldn't make a tree branch bounce around like that. But I'm sorry, there's actually an nyala that's just stepped out from up the thicket. Okay, let's... No, it's it's so it's so thick okay let me just reverse i'm sorry about our elephant friends everyone 